All right, this is second grade, module five, lesson 14. And in this lesson, we are still using those models, those drawings, to represent the standard algorithm for subtraction. Uh, so indeed, this lesson is going to continue practicing our the standard algorithm, which we want the students to know. But we're going to be doing it deliberately using that m uh, drawings, the math drawings, the place disks, place value disks, to make sure that the students understand the algorithm rather than just kind of memorize it. So we're going to solve by placing the uh, by drawing using the place value disks. So let's start, and they're they're asking us to kind of fit it in to this tiny little area. So I'm going to see if I can do that. So here's our hundreds. Here's our tens, and here's our ones, and we're going to model, let's see, model 463. So one, two, three, four, and then we're going to model 60. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then three. So there we go. We've modeled 463. Now it says to take away seven ones. So if we're going to take away seven ones, we're going to need to take one of these tens and unbundle him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we've cashed him in and unbundled him for ten ones. Now we do have enough ones to take away the seven that we're supposed to take away. So we're going to cross off seven. So let's see, let's do it down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So when I cross off those seven, that leaves me with six ones left over. Now we're going to go next door, and it says, now take away five tens. Well, it just so happens that's exactly what I have. I have five tens. One, two, three, four, five, leaving us with nothing in the tens column. And then lastly, it says take away three hundreds. Well, I have four hundreds. So if I take away three, one, two, three, that leaves me with one in the hundreds column. So the answer is 106. So that's using the place value disk. Let's do this uh, using that standard algorithm. So let's write down 463, take away 357. And teachers and parents, make sure your students are really accurate, and nice and neat in lining up their ones, their tens, and their hundreds. So now we're going to subtract. But right now it says ha we have three ones, take away seven ones. Well, we can't do that right now. So we're going to have to unbundle. So I'm going to take one of these tens, leaving us with five tens left over, and cash it in for ten ones, which means instead of having three ones, we will now have 13 ones. That's what happened over here. And so now we can subtract. We have 13, take away 7, leaves us with 6. And then we have 5 tens, take away 5 tens, leaves us with 0. 4 hundreds, take away 3 hundreds, leaves us with 100. So our answer is 106, and that's kind of what we knew all along. But now we need to use addition right here to check. So we're going to take our 106, which is our answer. We're going to add 357. And we really, really, really hope that we end up with 463 as our answer. So 6 ones plus 7 ones is 13 ones. So that leaves us with 3 in the 1's column, and we can bundle an extra 10 in the 10's column. And then 0 10's plus 5 10's plus 1 10, that equals 6 in the 10's column. And then 100 plus 300's, that equals 4 
in the hundreds column. So our answer is 463. That's exactly what we wanted to, so, uh, to get. So that tells us our answer of 106 woohoo, is perfect. All right, teachers, parents, I'm going to go through this one kind of quickly because it's a second, it's a second example of the same kind of thing that we've been doing the last few videos. Uh, but we are going to start with that place value method. And so I'm going to begin by drawing that place value chart. And there's our hundreds, our tens, and our ones. Now let's model 861. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of dots. So 8 in the hundreds column. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's our 8. And then 6 in the tens column. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And one lonely dot in the ones column. And now it says to take away 3 in the ones column. Well, we only have one. So we're going to take this 10 right here and unbundle him for 10 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So he's gone because we've unbundled him for 10 ones in the ones column. So now we have 11 ones. And it says take away three. Well, we could do that. We could take away three. One, two, three. And that leaves us with, let's see, seven up here plus one more. So that's eight. So that leaves us with eight in the ones column. So here we are. We now have one, two, three, four, five tens. And it says we're supposed to take away seven tens. Oh, my goodness. So what that means, it means we need to unbundle. So I'm going to take one of these hundreds and cash him in for ten tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this says we're supposed to take away seven of those tens. So let's take away seven of those tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that leaves us with, let's see, we have four, five, six, seven, eight. So that leaves us with eight tens. And then the last one is our hundreds column. And let's see, we now have, oops, now that guy is gone. So I should put a cross through him. Good. So we now have seven in our hundreds column. And it says take away six hundreds. So... Cross off six. One, two, three, four, five, six, leaving us with one little dot in the hundreds column. So our answer is 188. And if we want to solve this using the vertical method, it would look like this. Let's see, 861 take away 673. I'm making sure all my numbers are nice and lined up. And let's get going on this. One take away three, we can't do. We don't have enough dots to take away three dots. So we're going to go to the tens column, and we're going to unbundle one of those tens, leaving us with five tens. And that, and that gives us 11 ones in our ones column. And then 11 take away 3 is, let's see, 8. And now we have 5 tens take away 7 tens, which means we can't do that. So we're going to have to unbundle. So we go to the hundreds column. We unbundle one of the hundreds, leaving us with 7 hundreds, which now gives us 15 in the tens column instead of five in the tens column. And 15 take away seven, that gives us eight. And then lastly, we have seven hundreds take away six hundreds, leaves us with one hundred 
And you can see in both cases, we got the answer of 188. So that probably tells us we're right. But the directions say we should use addition to check. So let's do that. So we're going to check by doing 188 plus 673. 8 plus 3 is 11. So that means we're going to have 1, and we can bundle 1 into the tens column. And then, oh my goodness, 8 plus 7 plus 1. Well, 7 plus 1 is 8. 8 and 8 is 16. So that gives us 6 in the tens column, and we can bundle an extra 1 for the hundreds column. And then we have 100 plus 600 plus 100, so that equals 800. So we get 861, which is exactly what we started with. So woohoo! That tells us that 188 is probably correct. And that wraps up Grade 2, Module 5, Lesson 14, where we are using that standard algorithm to subtract, but we're doing it using drawings to make sure we can verify our answer.